Hello and welcome to the Building an Indie Business Podcast with Supreme Rumham. I'm your host, Alex. Today, uh, this is a very experimental episode. I said I wanted to uh, talk about finance and I'm going to be discussing Lyft as a public company. I uh, want to talk about why the stock isn't doing great uh, as of today. It's April 26th, Friday. Um, the stock is currently at $56.89. And the IPO price was $72. So it's down from the IPO price. So I wanted to discuss why the stock isn't doing great. Why, why I think the stock isn't doing great. This is all my opinion. This isn't investment advice. This is just um, what I think and uh, with my knowledge of finance. So I want to discuss why the stock isn't doing great, what I think they can do to become more profitable, and yeah, that's it. So let's get into it. But first, I wanted to remind everyone about the uh, Patreon page, which supports the hosting and editing of the podcast and as a supporter of the patreon page you will get um you will get your name in the uh in the i I will shout out your name and in the show notes you will get early access to all the episodes because i record this on friday and i post it on monday so i post the episode on Patreon as I'm uploading it to uh, my host. Okay, um, so why the stock isn't doing great? Um, this I I think the stock isn't doing great because Wall Street loves to make money, and they've publicly stated that they may never be profitable. That's strike one. For me, because if I'm going to, if I'm a hedge fund and I'm going to invest in your company to make money, I'm relying on the fact that you will become worth more than you are now, and I don't think that will happen. And it won't happen because there isn't a clear path to profitability for Lyft. They lose money on every ride. So if they get a million more rides a day, they'll only lose money. It won't help them. Um, they're hoping for self-driving cars. Um, and um, it might make them more profitable because they lower their expenses by not having drivers. But there's no clear timeline on self-driving cars. If you have a hundred million dollars and your burn rate is twenty million dollars per year, and self-driving cars might not be here in the next five years. So, you know, there's no there's no clear um proof that that will help lift Uh, They'll make it to self-driving cars and that it will help them become profitable. Uh, Another reason why I think their stock isn't doing great is because there's nothing unique about Lyft. Um, Yes, they have the advantage of network effects and the infrastructure infrastructure of drivers, but there's nothing keeping me from switching from Lyft to Uber to the next ride-sharing app that someone's building right now. Keep in mind, I actually am a Lyft user over Uber, so I do like the app. Okay. Uh, The next reason I think their uh, stock isn't doing great is because they're essentially a middleman. Um, there's nothing stopping from, say, Tesla or Ford or GM from starting their own ride-sharing app and hiring 
people to do exactly what Lyft does. And Lyft, no, the car companies, they can do it for cheaper than Lyft. So they cut out the middleman and make it cheaper for the users and the users will switch, theoretically. Okay, so what I think they can do to become profitable. The first thing I think is they can do premium features. So they can um, add deliveries and deliver people's food or packages or something like that, or deliver their groceries. The next thing I think they can do is they can charge more. They'd get less rides, but they would be making more money per ride, so they'd be more profitable. Or they'd be making more money, which will make them more profitable. Um, the next thing I think they could do is they could uh, make the just of, do do stuff to justify the fact that they're charging more. So something like free snacks or like water or you get to pick your driver. I don't know. Something. Um, the next thing I think they could do is they could find out what the highest paid driver makes per year in each city and then um, cut the bottom 20% of the um, of the drivers, the bottom, like the, the bad drivers, the one star drivers, and then offer all the other drivers just above how much they make right now. So let's say I'm a driver in San Jose and I make 70000 a year. So what Lyft could do is they could cut the one star drivers and then offer me 80 grand with the hopes that I make more money than they're paying me instead of doing a percentage that way, um, they're more likely to make money if I make them a hundred grand. Okay. The next thing, or the final thing I think they can do is they can um, go B2B. So they can work with uh, other companies and um, get the company, get the employees to and from work, work out a deal, maybe buy a bus and get, have established like a bus infrastructure for like Oracle employees or Google employees. Well, Google already does that, but Facebook just work with B2B, work with companies because you'll make more money working for companies. I, yeah. All right. So that's what I think about Lyft and what I think they should do. I hope you got some value out of this, um, this podcast episode. Please let me know. This is very experimental. I want to know what you guys think about this and if you guys like hearing me talk about um, the stock market and finance I'll do more episodes I just have to think of more things to talk about so let me know tweet me email me um, both my both my email and my uh, t link to my Twitter will be in the show notes all right thank you for listening have a nice day. Bye.